know, it's essential that industry talk to education and vice versa. Um, it's essential that, that businesses, especially small businesses, are engaged with our education institutions to making sure that they clearly understand what kind of workforce we need, not for today, but uh, you know, for our long-term uh, future. And uh, I would also add, you know, the manufacturing and sales tax was a step in the, in the right direction. Uh, but to truly attract manufacturers to Florida, you know, it's essential to make something like that on permanent. Um, you know, they're going to make long-term investment decisions to come to Florida. And I think also I would just add, you know, the, uh, the sales tax on lease uh, and rent is something that the legislature needs to address this year to help manufacturers, uh, especially those small manufacturers, be successful. Um, I think, you know, planning is, 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 is a great thing. This is, this is a beginning. And I would just add, you know, as a, as a leader of an organization, a statewide organization that is very invested in the success, the economic success of the state of Florida and its prosperity, it's, uh, it's you know, implementation and alignment that's essential. And it's, it's, it's also that investment that, uh, that is key. And so as an organization ourselves, we're taking on to being a six pillars uh, organization. And uh, we have uh, uh, the previous president of the Florida Foundation leading our strategic planning in a couple of weeks for the Florida SBDC network to assure that we are clearly doing the things that are in here and making the right investments to helping our small manufacturers be successful.